वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अवर सेकेंड चैप्टर मेटल करोजन इट्स प्रिवेंशन एंड इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री नाउ वी विल सी सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन बेसिक कंसेप्ट फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंडक्टर व्हाट इज कंडक्टर दैट इज द सब्सटेंस व्हिच अलाउज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट टू पास थ्रू इट इट इज नोन एज कंडक्टर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंडक्टर्स इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कंडक्टर एंड मेटेलिक कंडक्टर मेटेलिक कंडक्टर इट इंक्लूड्स ऑल मेटल्स लाइक एल्यूमिनियम then copper gold these are the metallic conductor then second type of conductor is electrolytic conductor that means the electrolyte it is act as a conductor for example nacl solution koh solution these are the electrolytic conductor next is insulator insulator that is the substance which do not allows electric current to pass through it for example rubber plastic then electrolyte electrolyte that is the substance which in aqueous solution or fused state liberate ions and allows electric current to pass through it resulting in chemical decomposition of that substance it is known as electrolyte let us see one example nacl when dissolve in water this is the aqueous solution of nacl then there is formation of na plus and cl minus ions h plus and oh minus ion this is called as chemical decomposition of this electrolyte in its aqueous solution it is known as electrolyte then types of electrolyte there are two types of electrolyte strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte strong electrolyte examples are strong acids like hcl h2so4 hno3 these are the strong acids they are strong electrolyte because they liberate more ions in their solution then strong base like naoh koh then strong salt like nacl kcl these are the example of strong electrolyte strong acid strong base and strong salt they liberate more ions in solution therefore they are known as strong electrolyte now weak electrolyte examples are again weak acid like acetic acid then weak base like nh4oh ammonium hydroxide weak salt like baso4 then also aluminium hydroxide these are some examples of electrolyte electrolyte they are classified into two types strong and weak electrolyte strong electrolyte examples are strong acids hcl h2so4 hno3 strong base noh koh then strong salt nacl kcl then weak electrolyte for example weak acid acetic acid then oxalic acid it is also example of weak acid then weak base and weak salt these are some points related to electrochemistry now next one is ionization what is ionization now let us see what is ionization ionization that means the process of breaking up of a substance into charged atoms or radicals it is known as ionization for example again we will see same example nacl when in fused state or aqueous state form ion na plus cl minus this is known as ionization that means ion formation degree of ionization that means rate of ionization it depends upon three factors nature of solute nature of solvent and temperature nature of solute that means whether the solute is strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte 
if the solute is strong electrolyte then rate of ionization will be more that means degree of ionization will be more and when the solute is weak electrolyte then rate of ionization will be less strong electrolyte that means strong acid strong base strong salt then weak acid weak base and weak salt they are known as weak electrolytes now second factor is nature of solvent degree of ionization is depend upon the nature of solvent that means which solvent is used to dissolve that solute if water is used which is also known as universal solvent then degree of ionization will be more if alcohol is used then degree of ionization will be less then third factor is temperature which affect degree of ionization with increase in temperature degree of ionization increases that means in hot water or in warm water degree of ionization will be greater as compared to cold water these are the th three factors that affect degree of ionization or degree of dissociation let us see the degree of ionization that means the factors affecting degree of ionization with the help of figure this is the first beaker containing NaCl plus water this is cold water second beaker containing NaCl plus alcohol and third beaker containing NaCl plus hot water now degree of ionization will be medium in NaCl plus water NaCl it is strong electrolyte and water is universal solvent degree of ionization will be less when alcohol is used as solvent whether it is strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte the solvent also matters and third is when NaCl is dissolved in hot water degree of ionization increases that means rate of ionization will be greater in beaker C these are the three factors nature of solute in all cases we use strong salt that means strong electrolyte but here solvent is cold water then alcohol and hot water therefore degree of ionization will be greater in C beaker that means with the help of hot water rate of ionization will be increases.